If you were granted a wish to ask for a skill, what would you ask? Undoubtedly many of you may want to have the skill to know someone just by a look at them, right? No surprise in that because it is one of the best life skills to gauge a person's character and personality accurately. But coming back to reality, now that you have a near impossible chance of being granted a wish, how can you know someone? Fortunately, our habits are actually the unrefined parts of our personality, and no matter how much we try to hide our true selves from someone, our actions speak louder than words. So, how can you know about a person, and what are some things that can tell you a lot about them? Hey folks, welcome back once again to Human Psychology Channel. We have already made a video with a similar title, but it felt that 10 things that can tell you a lot about a person. So we decided to make a second part of the original video. If you haven't seen the first part, we highly suggest that you do, just click the video link appearing in the description and on the screen. However, if you want to continue with this, please spare a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos from our channel. With that being said, let us get started. Number 10. How to deal with situations when things don't go as planned. To begin the list this time, we have decided to bring you one of the biggest secrets to cracking open a person without being with them for long. Life can be unpredictable and even ruthless where we least expect it to be. Change is inevitable, and that is why it is important to evolve with the challenges of life. With that being said, people behave differently when life brings adverse circumstances. This may be simply a flat tire on your way to work, a grocery bag splitting open, or splitting coffee down your white work shirt, these things happen very often and with everyone. But not everyone deals with them with a cool mind. And that is why how people behave in a tough situation might be an ideal way to know about their nature. How do they react to these serious situations? Are they all flustered, start raising their voice and start aggressively stomping around the place or sit down and devise a plan to deal with the situation? Number 9. How often they are late. It is acceptable to be late to certain events, and that too sometimes owing to an emergency on the way, but being consistently late everywhere and making this a habit tells a lot about an individual's clumsy nature. Being on time is a great habit that helps in several walks of life. Being punctual shows that we respect the gathering and value it. It also signifies that we value time and pay great heed to manage our routines. So, this timekeeping tells a lot about a person. Being always late sends a message that you don't value your and others' time, and this isn't a message you should be giving. Number 8. Do they put things away when they are done? It is a life-saving skill to be mindfully present at a place, and in this context, it asks for cleaning your mess after you have done it. Marriages have gone down the gutter line over dirty dishes and wet towels. Nevertheless, it is not only about washing and cleaning but giving respect and managing your things on your own despite having someone that takes care of you. This shows respect and is an act of care. When you don't carry your dishes to the sink, not only do you waste your partner's time but also you keep them under the stress of not being loved or taken care of. So this small habit of putting things away when you are done tells a lot about what type of person you are. Number 7. How much do they care about nature? Though we may not give this habit the amount of attention it deserves, caring about nature is a trait that makes a person close to one's own self, it grounds them. While visiting the beach, you may notice people taking their litter to the dustbin no matter how far it is, while others keep littering the water in beach no matter how close the dustbin is. The two types of people surely aren't the same, and this habit of theirs tells a lot about their personality. Those who take care of nature also take care of their homes and personal cleanliness and are disciplined. 
At the same time, the people on the other side of the spectrum are mostly those who don't bother to manage their belongings and lack life-saving cleanliness skills. Number 6. How they get along with animals. Animals, to many, are like children, while others would let a stray dog starve just because they consider it a distaste for society. The care and love we give to the animals send a message that we have a soft heart and that we would rather want to mend ways than break relationships, even if we have to work hard on it. People who are cruel to animals are hardly not mean to humans. On the hand, loving and caring for animals and considering them one of the creatures of God further helps in giving back to nature. Number 5. How they drive. Do you know how you drive tells a lot about your personality? In fact, aggressive individuals tend to drive faster all the time and are always in a hurry to get hold of the next thing though they haven't fully completed their last job. And this is dangerous as, according to research, road rage has contributed to 218 deaths and 12,610 injuries over a period of six years. Worse, it also found that road rage incidents increased nearly 7% each year within that period. On the whole, how a person drives on certain occasions may be partially due to being late at an occasion or possibly being a little agitated, but if this is a regular habit, this speaks volumes about their personality. Nevertheless, driving isn't something that cannot be improved. In fact, it is something that should be improved. Number 4. Repetitive Habits Have you ever noticed individuals who have a constant habit of saying ah or um or picking at their nails or sucking on their hair? These all little habits reveal a lot about them, but this does not necessarily point towards a bad personality trait, at the same time surely talks a lot about their nature. In fact, these nervous tics may reveal whether the person is a perfectionist and, on the other side of the spectrum, has a confused personality. Scientists call them body-focused repetitive behaviors. In fact, a study that filmed various people in different situations, stressful, relaxing, bored, or frustrated found out that the individuals who scored high on the perfectionism scale were prone to these types of body-focused repetitive behaviors. Number 3. How they take process. Another thing that surely tells a lot about a person's personality is how they process criticism. Many people don't take criticism to their ego and instead focus on the part that they think needs improvement and get going. There are others who take criticism too seriously and may ponder over it for days and acquire unnecessary anxiety. Then there are others who respond aggressively even when they face constructive criticism. In short, how a person takes criticism tells a lot about their personality. Number 2. How they eat. Yes, you heard it right, you can also assess someone's personality by their eating habits. In fact, according to Juliet Bogassian, a Los Angeles-based behavioral food expert and founder of food behavior research firm Foodology, we can absolutely make inferences about someone's personality based on their eating habits. But what do eating habits tell us? It is being touted that slow eaters like to be in control and appreciate life. On the other hand, pace eaters are ambitious and open to new experiences. In comparison, adventurous eaters are thrill-seekers and risk-takers, while picky eaters can be a little neurotic. Number 1. How often do they check their phones? At number 1, we bring you another little secret to know people, and that is their phone-checking habit. It is seen that emotionally unstable individuals are more likely to constantly check their phones in an effort to boost their moods. 
There are many other inferences with the usage of mobile phones, it can tell that an individual is socially disconnected and likes to be on their own in their own zone. In some cases, it can get a little disrespectful when people remain on their phones when they are publicly invited somewhere. This marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon as you enter or leave. This will only take a microsecond but will significantly boost the YouTube algorithm, propelling our videos to the top. See you in the following video.